What's up everyone for the Winitachi here, you know what it is, we are playing Pokemon Quest today. I'm actually really looking forward to this, because it has been quite some time since we have played Pokemon Quest. So, I believe, I'm not mistaken, but I believe we've got two more live streams for Pokemon Quest on my cell phone, and then the rest of them will then be... On uh, the Nintendo switch so for those of you tuning in we are still on a cell phone which is why you don't see any like intros and outros to the live stream and also why you don't see really me on the webcam um, as you guys can also see we have 945 pokey tickets in this game now and we also have 19 out of the 20 slots of the Pokemon um, I almost maxed it out while I was uh, while I was gone um, it's been almost a month since I played but I do want to say I did miss some days so I did not remember to log in every single day, but we're here. We're back at it again. Um, I'm basically just going to go through some things really quickly to make sure I remember kind of where I left off. Um, again, it's been a while since I have played Pokemon Quest, so just basically keeping myself up to date and stuff like that. Um, we're almost actually done with the game, but like I want to complete all of these achievements in the main section. That's the main storyline. That's like the main thing to do in the game, and it's to complete all of the expeditions. And then, of course, you got, like, challenge uh, achievements, which are basically, like, I mean, you just get from no life in it and playing this game for let forever. But that's basically what those achievements come in. And then there's also, of course, collecting Pokemon. There's, like, three things to really do in this game. Now, I have almost every Pokemon in the game based off of their first evolution. I don't, you can only catch, well, you don't really catch. You basically attract or lure Pokemon to your campsite, which is currently where I'm at. And from cooking and you can only get the basic forms as you guys can see here I've got a Venonat, a Nidoran, a Dodro, an Execute, a Nidoran, a Saryu, Oddish, Horsey, Abra, Voltorb, Rhyhorn, Goldeen, Seal, and uh, right, another Nidoran and those are all basic evolutions or their basic forms of their evolutions the three Pokemon that I actually use are Cloyster, Alakazam, and Flareon and I also have uh, a limited edition Raichu aka Surfing Pikachu um, but all those other Pokemon that I just called out, those are ones that I've been collecting by logging in every single day. As you can see, I do have one more slot. I just did not log in every single day. But we're going to be using those Pokemon to power up my team and uh, go from there, So which we're going to do in a minute. Um, but yeah, you, the only way you can get the evolutions is to actually level and evolve those Pokemon yourself. So yeah, uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. I can increase my boxes and store more than 20 Pokemon. But yeah, well, you can also purchase some items from the store as well today, which is what we're going to do. And last but not least, I have yet to release them. I'm waiting. But Expeditions 1, 2, 3, 4 are all completed. We're going to be doing Expedition 5 today, which is Belly Button Cave. I did not know that was ever the name of it. And then Expedition 6 should be the last live stream that I do from my mobile point of view, which would be Pincushion Plane. And that will be the end of all the recaps. No more recaps. We'll then get back into Expedition 7, 8, um, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And hopefully complete them because we've leveled up quite a bit. And then, uh, yeah, the, when I do Expedition 7, 8, 9, and 10, we will be back on... Well, we won't be back, but we will be... Um, I will have to download it on my Nintendo Switch and we will be able to stream from there. So, first of all, let's go ahead and keep this running I gotta check something out because show live information there we go because some of my stuff has uh, flip-flopped and has turned off so alerts I don't really do I want alerts I don't really want alerts audio alert donations I don't want any of this stuff so that's the live tools all right so back we go um, so yeah, my whole app reset itself, so that's kind of what sucks. I do not want the camera, I don't like to use it, it actually makes the stream lag, it's not really great at this moment in time, so that's why I just keep it playing like this. So, that's perfect, Every all my settings are good to go now. Um, we're actually going to get straight into this, so let's go ahead and purchase some cool items that we can go ahead and uh, decorate the, the location with. We're going to go ahead and buy the, the original three, I believe. No, actually... I think I just want to get the Diddle Balloon. Let's get this out of the way. Success rate on move learning training times two. That's perfect because that's kind of what I need to do today. Anyways, on Alakazam. However, I think Alakazam's already going to be at 100% because I've got an Abra. 
And when you use the same Pokemon to, or within the same evolution chain, it automatically becomes a max. So, let's go ahead and uh, get that Diddle Balloon out there anyways. See where we can put this bad boy. Um, probably gonna go over there. Actually, let's keep it on, keep it on the aisle. And let's put it right there. Go ahead and give it a rotate. Ooh, we're gonna have to go max rotate. One more, and there we go. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. So we're going to go back, because now we got to go ahead and train our Pokemon. So we're going to use the Pokemon that we've currently gained. The reason why I don't evolve or do any other Pokemon, um, if they were high enough level, I would use them. Um, but there's only specific Pokemon that I'm looking for. One is a, uh, a Geodude, so I can evolve into a Golem, but it needs to be a high enough level to join the team. Um, let's see. Um, a Chop at a high enough level to join the team. There's a, there's a couple of Pokemon that I'm really looking for that would actually help and benefit my team. Um, but other than that, most of the Pokemon I'm going to use to level up my current good team because um, that's going to help me clear some of these expeditions. So, go ahead and click on Alakazam, get into training. I need to switch out one of his moves. Uh, my, my Cloyster that's currently on my team, as well as my Flareon that's currently on my team, have um, pretty much best in slot moves. I'm going to go ahead and use, yeah, so Abra makes it 100%. I need to get rid of, I believe it's Barrier. So let's go ahead and start training. Psychic would be great, but just to be honest, anything but Barriers, uh, uh, an increase. So it's already 100%. Uh, what is that? A teleport. That's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see at all. It actually went worse. <laughs> it went worse. Alright, well, I have times two going on. 100%. Okay, wait, hold up. That's 100% too. That's 100% too. That's 84%. Alright, so I can actually waste... Let's get rid of one of these Nidorans. That's 100%. Okay, so I can do it one more time. Anything but teleport and barrier. I don't want to do this too much. Because I need these to actually... What is that? Dazzling Gleam! Okay, no, actually... I need Psychic. I'm eventually going to need Psychic, but I'm going to keep that for now. That's actually not bad at all. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and continue from there. We're going to go ahead and start leveling up some Pokemon now. If you guys want to see, we got Fire Blast and Flamethrower for um, Best in Slot for Flareon. got Icicle Crash and Withdraw for Best in Slot for Cloyster, who is currently a tank. And now we got Psycho Cut, which is an amazing move. As well as somehow we got Dazzling Gleam now. I did not know Alakazam could learn a fairy type within Generation 1 Pokemon Quest. But I guess we got fairy type moves. And uh, he knew da Dazzling Gleam. Um, not not mad. Not upset about that. That's actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, Psychic is what we need. So sadly, this Charmeleon is going away. Just letting you guys know. The Charmeleon is going away. I need to try to get all of my Pokemon to level 50. It's not like it's super needed right now. But, yeah, I kind of got to get my Pokemon to a decent level. So we're going from 45 to 49. I'm going to leave it at 49. Um, and the main reason I'm going to leave it at 49 is because, uh, ooh, we actually got a gem slot, which is really nice. That's going to help. Don't have any decent gems to use at this moment in time, but we will be able to get some of those soon. I'm going to leave it at 49 just because we'll probably get some XP from doing some expeditions. Let's go ahead and use water types for this one. That's the only one that I have. Uh, actually, nope, I got a lot. Uh, there's 50. I'm going to... Let's see. Take this horsey out. It's about the same. Hmm. Well, let's do Alakazam first then. And see what I can get from Alakazam here. So I can get him from 45 to 46. But that's all the useless Pokemon that I'm getting rid of. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> So got one full level off that. That wasn't too bad. So I need to get this guy to 50. Let's get this guy straight up to 50 real quick. Can I just use these two Velobies? Yes, I can. Alright, so two Lobies are going to get him to 50. So Cloyster's already completed with my uh, 50, 50 mark. And that, sorry, I don't want to get rid of you. Imagine I get rid of my Raichu. That'd be so bad. So 46 to high 46, I can max you out. Let's just do that. 
Alakazam, you're just killing me over here. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing, Alakazam. You're just killing me over there. So we got two level 50 Pokemon. Alright, so perfect. Training's done. Training's completed. Um, we're going to go ahead and do another recap today. We still have Flareon, Alakazam, and Raichu. We're currently leveling up Raichu as much as we can. But uh, we're going to do another recap today with our expeditions. We're doing Expedition 5. Did complete a challenge, reached level 50 on two different Pokemon. We got more PM tickets, that's also great. I knew that was one of the achievements, so I was going for that, but I completely forgot about it. <laughs> it's the last episode that I remembered that, but I forgot about it in this episode, but it was something I was going for. Alright, so let's get into some expeditions today. Alright, Expeditions, we're on Expedition 5. This one gave me some trouble back in the day, and it was actually some good trouble. It was... It was fun. But welcome everybody. Expedition 5 recap. Belly Button Cave. Bonus type is water. 5-1 only requires a team total of 2,500. I'm already doubled that plus some. So let's go ahead and quickly get through this expedition. Damn, loading screen of dreams. Uh, keep it on auto. Yes, it's on auto. So, um, for those of you tuning in, I uh, have been recently creating episodes on all of the expeditions so you guys can kind of see them individually in their respective episodes in this YouTube channel, especially on the youtube.com slash for the one Itachi plays Pokemon Quest playlist. And um, for those of you that do like Pokemon Quest, leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And again, we will be going on to the Nintendo Switch once we have gotten back to Expeditions 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I uh, believe we got one more live stream after this, which would be Expedition 6. Unless a miracle happens during this uh, this uh, live stream and I get a lot of um, extra charges to my battery, which allows me to get into Expedition 6 today. But I don't think I see any, uh, I didn't see any quests that I have any near completion to get that. And I don't even see any quests that actually give me battery, battery life on this. So, that kind of sucks. Alright, so this one's almost done. Now, this expedition has the best defensive tank Pokemon in the game being Golem. Golem is the best tank currently in this game. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Golem. <clears throat> but, I mean, this game gives me a reason to use it. I've never used it in any of the Pokemon Generation games, but uh, Pokemon Quest does give you a reason to use Golem. Yes, it does beat Snorlax defensively. Yes, it does beat Chansey defensively. I mean, Licky Tongue is up there as one of the higher defensive Pokemons in Gen 1, and it does beat that one too. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, currently, my defensive Pokemon or my defensive tank is a Cloyster. Interesting enough. I never thought about that, but Cloyster is an amazing tank as well, but not as good as Golem. Alright, so we got some cooking to do, let's go ahead and get that out of the ways. So this might be good, might be bad, but we got some cooking. Mulligan stew a la cube excel size, but it is not the good and not the great, so it's a regular. Looks like a what was that? So, oh, it's a sand shrew. Do I even I don't even have a sand shrew. Level 55 sand shrew, what is this? Oh the boy, what is his moveset? Sand slash isn't a great Pokemon in Pokemon Quest, but it isn't bad. Not gonna lie, it is not bad at all. Check it out. Oh, that's it. It only knows dig. Piss off. When you're done, Pokemon only knows dig. Forgot to put the power charms back on this guy. And I forgot to see what does Dazzling Gloom do with the user move units? Okay. Move repetition, move wait time increase. Effect sound for buddies. Yeah, I don't have the ability to use that anymore. <laughs> and back we go. Now let's check out Flareon. What did it get? Was it a blue? I might as well throw this in there if it is. Nope, it was fighting. Which is good. Which is what I need, but... Yeah. 
I'll go back deep into details on my stones once I start getting into some more difficult stuff. But for now, let's get back into the cooking. Should have enough agents to do whatever I want to do. It doesn't look like I do. Oh, can I just make like the most burnt thing at all times? Oh, that's damn straight. It's a three, yeah, so we're gonna be able to get it today. It's the most burnt food, uh, it's the most burnt recipe of all times. Don't know what it is, don't know what it gets, but we'll find out. Expedition five, level two. Total of 2,800, click it, and win it, because I've doubled the requirements for this, and this is going to be really easy for me to do. Alright, sweet. So, I have yet to see what Dazzling Gleam even looks like, so let me see that, please, Alakazam. That was Psycho Cut. That had to be Psycho Cut. I feel like they've made this game... I wonder if they're going to do upgrades to this game. Because so far, they've done no updates. Nothing really new. And if that's the case, that's going to suck. I'm pretty sure they'll eventually do updates to this game, maybe. Because once I've completed all the main storyline, I'm going to be pretty much done. That's all I want to do. Is complete the main storyline. I don't want to capture and raise and evolve every single Pokemon. I might do that, but I have a lot of other games that I could play and bring to the channel. But I'll try to create like the best team that I possibly can and complete as much as I possibly can. But again, I'm pretty much aiming for complete all expeditions, beat the final boss. Collect all the collectibles, and that's it. I'll finish off with, like, my main team. My main squad. Like, my top three Pokemon and Raichu. Raichu doesn't count, because Raichu is, like, that's a collectible Pokemon to me. It's a limited edition surfing Pikachu that is rare that you can't get unless... I think it's within the first 24 to 72 hours of starting the game. I had to pick it up. It was free, so... But yeah, if you guys want uh, Surfing Pikachu and you've already played the game for longer than 72 hours, then you've... Well, you don't have to play the game. You, Whenever you started your account, that's when it starts. The first time you log in, that's when it starts. So uh, if you want to get it, you're going to have to recreate your account. No! Don't die on me, Raichu. I'm actually trying to keep you alive here. Oh my gosh. I like Zam doing bits damage, though. He's the strongest attack your Pokemon in this game. Sadly, I don't have his strongest move. Well, actually, Psycho Cut is his strongest move, but Psychic overall does some nasty damage. As you can see, these two don't even take damage, really. Flareon's my tank in this one. It's only 137s back in the days. Alright, Expedition 5, level 3. Total of 3,300. Again, I mean, we have more than the boss in this one. Like, the boss is a perfect, perfect challenge for me. It's 5,400 for the boss. I currently have a team total of 5,700. But then again, we have Flareon without a gem slot. An empty gem slot, and we also have Raichu on the team, which isn't my core. It's just with me so I can see if I can level it and get it some XP for the time being. Once this game gets a little bit too hard for Otto to start completing, then that's when we'll start bringing back the boy. My highest level Pokemon, besides the Sanshu that I just got from cooking. But that Sanshu is going to be used to level up some other, some other Pokemon. Don't know which one yet. Because I don't really have any ground types, so the bonus of using them for leveling isn't going to be great. Damn, right, you actually got a kill. Kill and blow from right. That's sweet. Easy modes. But for those of you tuning in, and you have seen my videos, or you actually play Pokemon Quest, 
What has been your favorite expedition? I've only been able to adventure through 1 through 10 so far. So, I haven't completed 7 through 10, but you can it's the same platform every single level. It's just... I mean, it's the same platform for the whole expedition. What has been your favorite expedition thus far? Mine, I believe, is 7. Whichever one that pink one is, it is so bright and vibrant. Not gonna lie, it is... I like it. I don't like the pink color, but just that color, though, it's pretty lit. I thought Onyx in this game would be pretty decent. It is, but it's it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's just not good. Its attack is... It, it's, it's like a mediocre Pokemon. It's like... It, it's not bad. But it's not, like, gonna beat you the game. But it won't ruin it. That's pretty much Onyx. I thought he would be lit, though. I always thought he would be a, an amazing Pokemon, but Brock being level 1 gym, ha being the first gym, having that Pokemon kind of made him, like... Oh, so you're not really that great. Damn, right, you're getting some XP. Ooh, stone after stone after stone. Expedition 5, now level 4, jumping up a notch into 4,500 total team score to go ahead and complete. Again, I mean, you can probably complete this with a thousand less points, usually. That's like the giveaway. That's like the leeway. You can complete an expedition level up to a thousand points less than the requirement. So let's say it says it requires 5,000. You can probably have a team rating of 4,000 and actually still complete it. Even less, depending on your actual team comp. But that's just like... It's kind of like the auto requirement, like the game being on auto to complete it for you. Should, should Your team should be around that. Anything above, auto should beat it. But the reason why I say give or take a thousand down below the actual score is because that's kind of what I had to do back in the day when I was playing this. But now I've, I've leveled up my Pokemon since I've been recapping so much and doing some cooking and collecting Pokemon over a course of a couple of weeks to use for leveling and uh, changing my movesets. That has helped a lot. And um, I've been playing this game, I'd probably say, for like three months now. But out of those three months, I probably played for like three, uh, one month of it. Two of the months I didn't play. Um, but that's just basically over time. And I play f once a day. You can play multiple times a day and recharge your battery and you're good to go I only play once a day so and that's so if I really take it into consideration my total play time in this game is not even a day nowhere near it actually I hate I hate flamethrowers so much <laughs> especially when the computer uses it and it's just like not in a good situation But that Psycho Cut is a little bit good. I didn't know we had a face-off against a Marowak. I don't remember that at all. Entry. Ooh, okay, wait, never mind. I thought that was something else coming out. It was my Raichu. Raichu, you should be using Surf against a Ground-type. I don't even know if type... I know type advantages work in this. I know they do. Otherwise, they wouldn't give you bonuses. But my fire type against the ground type is like doing so much damage. That's how much I out level this. <clears throat> Sweet. Alright. Almost level 26. I believe cooking's done, so we're gonna go check that out now. Give me something new. Geodude, level 60. Hello. I don't think I can get level 60, though. Oh, no. Okay, it's XL size. It's the Grey Porridge a la cube. I've done this before. Oh, no. This is bad. It's like probably a Magnemite. Oh, it's a Geodude! Please be high level. I can level you up to a Golem, bro. 43. Fuck. That's not what I want. I'm not gonna use it. I don't need it. 
That sucks. I just got a Geodude, but it wasn't a good one. Oh, more PM tickets. Yeet. That's what we need. I'm getting the Meowth next, and then I'll finish off with the three. The trio. Wait, no. I want silver. Auto set, but don't throw... No, I don't, don't throw that in there. I'm saving that. Hold on. Now you can auto set. Perfect. Start cooking that random junky food. What, what, how many battles? Five. Okay, so I'm not getting that done today. But we can continue on with it. Expedition 5, the final level, the boss level, and I still have a team rating that is higher than it. So let's get to it. 5400. Alright, sweet. So this is the one that has probably been my most epic battle of all times against the golem. My shelter. Before it evolved into Cloyster, my shelter. It was probably the longest Pokemon quest battle of all times. Shelter would not take damage. And shelter would not do any damage. It was up to my dying Pokemon to hopefully get an attack or two out when they came back. I wonder how this is going to go now. Because I already have my Raichu gun. All I've got left is a fire type as well as my Alakazam. My Alakazam is going to do some bits, but kind of scared about my Flareon here. Oof. The kills. That was quick. Those quick maneuvers. Who here is looking forward to Pokemon Let's Go? And which one are you going to be getting? Eevee or Pikachu? I'm definitely, you already know what I'm going. Alright, what's funny is I have a Flareon and a Raichu on my team right now. Perfect. Perfecto. Kill the Doug Trio and we move on to the big bad wolf. That is the rock itself. Golem. Wow, that Doug Trio is pretty quick. Alright, here it goes. Deep center in the cave. The boy golem. It's like the biggest freaking cube in the game, too. Alright, just get a surf off and go kill yourself. Oh my gosh, you didn't even get a surf off. Oh, okay, yeah. Alakazam's got this himself. He deals so much damage. Oh, damn. Alakazam, keep it up. Finish off those Geodudes. Look, look, Flareon, what are you doing, bro? Don't run in... Okay. You guys need to kind of stay away. You get a Surf off. Oh my gosh. He's like, bro, sit back. Flareon, you're dumb. You either stay in melee range. <gasps> Alakazam... Oh no. Alakazam died. What is this? I think, I, I think your boy needs to take over. It's it's looking. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know whether to take over or not. I shouldn't have to. Okay, cool. Oh wait, no, that's right, you. Oh, we got a surf off. All right, right, you getting the win. Not gonna lie, I don't think I can play with right you anymore. I'll give it a go in Expedition Six, but when I take that L, that's when it's over. Alright, sweet. So we actually have a stone we can use now. Um, Flurry, I needed it, I believe. It's not a great stone, but it's it's decent enough to 216 er Actually, I'm not recycling just yet. 
because I need to get rid of them. But it depends. Alright, let me check out you really quick. You're folded out, right? Yeah. And then if Alakazam doesn't need anything, I'm going to go ahead and wait and uh, recycle all of these so I can get some cooking reagents for some future cooking. Yeah, we're good. Let's go to recycle. Seven out of nine. Decent tall. Let's get out of that. Let's see if I can do any training here. Alright, you. That thing. That's one level. That's a level and a half. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. But it's not bad. I'll take it. If that Geodude was level 55, I'd be using the Geodude instead of Cloyster, which would be really sad to say. But that's that's what would happen. <laughs> Alright, we got a couple more battery charges left, I believe. Yeah, one. Just gonna dive on into Expedition 6 here. It should be able to one-shot it. Because it's actually lower, but this is going to be, this expedition we're doing now is going to be the final expedition I recap, and the final expedition that I will be recapping when I live stream this next on my mobile device, and then again, we will be back on to the Nintendo, we will be going to the Nintendo Switch. I wonder how it, how this game works on the Switch. I really do. Because this, you just push buttons on your phone and you win. The switch, you have to play with the controller, like, what the hell? Is it easy? Is it hard? Is it comfortable to play? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just, I want to play on the switch, just, I'm assuming it'll look better? The stream might look better? I'm hoping. Yeah, we're getting through this really quickly, so that's great. And Alakazam is just like destroying the psychics. We're already at the boss. I really don't remember this expedition either, which kind of sucks. Oh wow. Oh, Alakazam with the psycho cuts, fam. Persian? Ah, I see. Oh, this is when we start getting into like Team Rocket mode with the uh, the end bosses. I remember you start facing off against like Arbox, Weezings, Persians, Meowths. Yeah, this is gonna be cake. I remember these now. Get the kill. Boom. Done. Alright, sweet. Well, that worked out. Believe right, she's going to be able to complete a couple more levels in Expedition 6. Because we cleared that pretty, pretty easily. Alright, so I don't want to use any PM tickets on that. That's going to be a waste, because... Let's see if they've added anything to the store yet. Um, 20, 30 bucks for that. No, I don't think so. They haven't added anything, which sucks. Box expansions, decorations. We got four more to go. Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Those are the last three I'm going to get. Uh, oh, we still got Tauros and Meowth to get. We're going to get Meowth next. We're going to go from, like, high price to low price. Um... My decorations are pretty good, I think. There's a couple things that I'm not using, but overall we're good. Gonna have to back up these in just a sec. That's how I'm gonna be able to play this on the Switch when I do the backup. 
All right, so let's actually look at these achievements. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So there's five more expeditions to do. Um, Pokemon trainer, like, what is that? Level up 500 times, and you only get five fucking tickets. Achieve a max attack for 3K. I currently have 1839. Tenacious defense, so that's the boy Cloyster right there. Go on 500 successful expeditions. Recharge your battery. That's what I'm looking for. Sadly, I can't get it. I think that's the last one that recharges the battery. Ooh, there's a lot of empty ones. And then there's a lot of ones that are pretty much completed. A lot of them you complete and then they get more difficult. Like, they just add the same achievement so it doesn't show you that you completed it. Um, that's pretty much good to go to. Cooking, almost. Don't want to do that. I have time to spare. And that's pretty much it for the night with Pokemon Quest. We were able to complete what we got it, we had in mind. Um, we are not done for the night. We are going to be jumping over to Magic Carp Jump. I like to do both of these live streams because I know they're not very, very long live streams. So... If I do both of them, they'll basically uh, equal a normal live stream. So, thank you all very much for tuning in today. And if you're tuning in right now, bear with me. Stay tuned on the channel. I will be live in like another minute or two. Peace.